UTPA men's basketball off to an undefeated start. We take you to all the action. UTPA women's basketball played their first six games in a span of nine days. We catch up on a whirlwind of play. And now that basketball season is underway, it's time to talk about baseball. The 2015 schedule came out this week. We give you the highlights. This is Bronx Country. Welcome to Bronx Country. I'm Jonah Goldberg. The early signing period came to a close last week. We've already shown you some of the incoming recruits, but there are plenty more where that came from. So let's get to it. We told you about two volleyball signees last week. Well, this week, the Bronx have one more, as 5'7 libero Ariel Horton signs on for 2015-16. Horton comes to the Bronx from Waxahachie High School, where she was teammates with current Bronx freshman setter Mary Kay Clark from 2012 to 13. As a senior, Horton broke the program record for digs in a match with 43. Overall, Horton averaged 5.8 digs while serving up 60 aces. Last season, Horton broke the Waxahachie program record for points in a match with 26. Overall, she averaged 3.5 digs and served up 55 aces en route to earning first team all district honors. She also earned academic all district honors. As a sophomore, Horton earned all district honorable mention, and as a freshman, she helped Canterbury High School to the TAP 2A state championship. She's a, an athlete. I mean, that's the biggest thing you can say about her. You know, gritty, you know, district uh, defensive MB, MVP in soccer. Uh, and so, you know, she's got that defensive mindset. Uh, last year was her first season at, the, at a true libero position. She's been an outside hitter in the past, and she's, she's done it all for her teams, you know, club and, and high school-wise. And so, you know, really excited to get her another season of, of club. and. You know, at the libero position, but like I said, she's one of those you know gritty athletes that uh, you know just goes for every ball. Uh, you know, trusts trusts in her teammates and will instill confidence in her teammates with just the the, the persona that she plays the game with. So, uh, you know, she's going to come in and, and really solidify solidify us defensively. And uh, you know, what more can you ask? On to the UTPA men's basketball team, which welcomes a pair of freshmen in seven footer William Brooks and six five guard Walter Jones. Originally from Torrance, California, William Brooks is set to play this season at West Wind Prep Academy in Phoenix, Arizona. Brooks previously played at Rancho Dominguez High School in Long Beach, California, where, as a senior, he averaged 16 points, 12 rebounds, and 7.5 blocks per game. Seven foot tall, long shot blocker, uh, supreme, a great defender around the basket with improving offensive skills, so I, I look for him to to get, be a guy that really blossoms into a, a, a really fine center in this league. Walter Jones joins the Bronx from Sunshine High School in New Bern, Alabama, where, as a junior, he led his team to the Class 1A South Regional Championship while averaging 16 points, 8 rebounds, and 4 assists per game. For his efforts, Jones earned All-Area, All-County, and All-Region honors. Walter Jones is a kid that can play any of three positions uh, with great intensity and skill. He can guard anybody from about the four to the one spot. He can handle the ball as a one. He can, he can slash, drive, play. Great defender, great athlete. Uh, I, th I think, again, a guy with a great upside. And Two games from the Bronx over the past week. First visiting UTSA. Pick it up early in the second half. Bronx down four but on the comeback trail. Shaq Hines makes it a two-point game. And then he ties it, 31 all. Next time down the court, it's Janari Josar. 33-31 Bronx. Seven and a half minutes to go. Bronx down one. And that's when Shaq Boga starts heating up. Hits the layup, 51-50 Bronx. And then it's Josar for three. Bronx by four. Down the stretch, it was all Boga. Hits the layup here to make it 56-50. We move ahead to the final 90 seconds of play. The Bronx lead is down to one when Boga hits this jumper. And now there's under a minute to go. Game tied at 60 and Boga, cool as a cucumber. Bronx go up 63-60, go on to win 
62. Well, it was a good win for us. Um, I didn't think we played exceptionally well, and I don't really think UTSA did either, but uh, we survived in the end. Uh, uh, happy to get it. Always great to get a road uh, win, and especially against a Conference USA school. So it was uh, good to have teaching points after a win instead of, you know, after a loss. Boga scored 11 of his 16 points in the second half by hitting four of his five shots. The Bronx finished with 12 blocks, the fourth most in a single game in program history, and the most since 1972. A big part of that was Josar, who accounted for six of those blocks on his own, the seventh best performance in program history. Just for good measure, Josar added 17 points on 7 of 12 shooting, while racking up a whopping 18 rebounds and 4 assists. Playing very well, uh, you know, playing a lot of minutes, doing an unbelievable job on, the, on both backboards, and then uh, shooting an efficient percentage and uh, really, really, really playing well. Been a great addition for us. Later in the week, Bronx hosting Texas A&M Kingsville, and Josar was up for an encore. Buries the three, ties the game at 12. And the next time down the court, Josar with the board and the bucket, Bronx up 14-12. Now it's Everett Osborne's turn. Bronx down one, make that up one. And then the Bronx down two, so Osborne dials up from long distance. And then Josar follows suit. Bronx up 22-18. Bronx trying to pull away. First it's Jack Hines. Then Andreas Bigum. Bronx up 33-23. Little over a minute left in the half. It's time for Shaq Boga. Bronx up 41-28. Four minutes left in the second half. The Javelinas have come back to take the lead. But Hines, having none of that. 68-67 Bronx. Javelinas within one again. And it's all elementary for Elijah Watson. First career bucket, he'll hit the free throw as well. Bronx go up 73-69. Go on to win. 82-77. Four Bronx in double-figure scoring, led by Josar, who scored a career-high 27 points while hitting a career-high three three-pointers and a career-high 12 free throws, en route to WAC Player of the Week honors. Season-high 16 points for Hines, Boga with 12, and Noriega hit a trio of threes for 11 points. Well, as I said before the game, you know, many times the, the difference between Division One and Division Two isn't a lot in talent. You know, I've, I've seen years, uh, just going back to my Ohio roots, where Finley College would go down and beat Xavier and Ohio State in the same year in an exhibition game. That's why a lot of coaches try to avoid the good D2 teams, but I think it's good for us. You know, I think for us to get out there and have to compete and win like that is a, a teaching moment for us. Here's a look at the WAC non-conference standings. The Bronx, the lone undefeated team at 3-0. The Bronx with a tough stretch of games this week, visiting number 25 Utah for a tournament, starting with the host Utes, followed by games against Alabama State and North Dakota. Utah's loaded. Uh, Alabama State, who's been down for a few years, is back up, picked the top of the SWAC. And uh, then, you know, it, it's just going to be hard. Then the third day, you just go out there and try to fight out a win. UTPA women's basketball also on the court this week playing their first three home games. Next on Broad Country, highlights from a big week for UTPA women's basketball. We pursue excellence in the classroom and strive to achieve our potential. We compete on the field with integrity, on the court with respect, and in the pool with distinction. We are strong leaders in our community and gain values from our biggest fans. We continue the legacy of commitment to our universities, to our coaches, to our teammates, and most importantly to you. We learn, we compete, we inspire. We are the Western Athletic Conference. The ball on the right wing goes for the tie. And he does it again! Nolan straight to the hoop, ties the game! On with the three, with two, the desperation he goes in! Jack Boga from half court! Bronx win! Bronx win! Get your Bronx basketball season tickets now by calling 665-2221 or logging on to utpabronx.com. This commercial is brought to you by Lax Furniture, an official sponsor of the University of Texas Pan American Intercollegiate Athletics. The UTPA women's basketball team came off a tough test at the Maggie Dixon Classic to play three straight at home, and the Bronx lit up the scoreboard. Bronx playing host to Texas A&M Kingsville. Opening possession, Brittany Bush. Next possession, 
Shante Goff with the steal, and she goes coast to coast for the layup. It's four to nothing. Now it's four to two, and Teandria Nolan hits the jumper. And then it's Hilder Bjork Karchenstadter for three. Bronx up nine two. Ensuing possession, Goff comes up with the steal and takes it herself again. Bronx up 11-2. And that's pretty much how this game went from there, as the Bronx jumped out to a 32-4 lead on these free throws by Chazé Wright. One of the reasons for the Bronx offensive onslaught, Tanisha Walker. Last year, she never hit more than two threes in a game. That's one. That's two. Three. Three. But she's not done with that Tootsie Pop yet. How about four? Make it five. Career high five three-pointers for Walker. Career high 17 points. The Bronx played stifling defense as well. Check out this block by Shante Goff. It was also a game of firsts. Troy Swain knocks down her first three here. Swain hit two threes, eight points, three assists, and three steals for the freshman. Speaking of freshmen, that's Laura Van Tilburg from the baseline. First career basket, and it comes in front of friends, family, and former coaches. Well, when I first went in, uh, I played a little nervous, played a little timid. You know, my first home college game, I, I got my, everybody looking at me. But after that, like at halftime, coaches told me just settle down, you know, play my game, and I'll be fine. And then sure enough, I, I went in, got some blocks, got the rhythm going, and made my first basket. basket. I mean, I got some fouls, but just got to shake it off and keep playing. But she's, uh, she's developing. She's come a long way. She can do a lot of things. She's got to quit fouling. Mm -hmm. She's got to let that, let that go, everybody. You know, it's her home opener, and she'll be fine, but she's developed extremely well. Micheline Mercilita seeing her first career action, and look at the steal. Mercilita down the court, and she connects. First game, first steal, first basket for the walk-on. Bronx roll, 86-36. It was a blessing. Uh, I was out for a while with surgery and stuff, but I was really glad to be back and stuff. Goff led the Bronx with 19 points on 9 of 13 shooting while grabbing a team-high 5 rebounds, 3 assists, and a career-high 6 steals. You know about Walker 17, Bush finished with 14, and the rest of the scoring spread out as the Bronx shot better than 52% from the field. Boy, the effort I get from uh, Shante Goff, I mean, KK Boyd, Tanisha Walker was on fire, but the one that holds the glue, the one that, that it's the one that holds us together, number 14, Teandra Nolan. She, oh man, is she playing great. The next night, the Bronx hosting Concordia, their fifth game in seven days. Unlike the Kingsville game, this one was tied at one point. It's two to two after a minute, and then the Bronx start to go off. Shante Goff takes advantage of Hilder Bjork Karchin's daughter's steal. It's four to two, and here we go. 30 of the 55 Bronx rebounds were offensive, like this one, leads to Raquel Preston's first bucket. It's 6-2. Now it's 7-2, and look at the nice passing. It starts with Boyd, and it ends with Boyd. 10-2 Bronx. Now it's 10-4 when Preston turns another offensive rebound into a basket. Goff hits the jumper. Karchenstadter makes the layup. Goff connects off of Stephanie Onyeje's steal. Preston hits another basket. And then it's freshman Laura Van Tilburg. Bronx up 22 to four. Eight minutes left in the second half. The Bronx are up by 29, and then they put their foot down. Onyeje from downtown. Ben Tilburg with another basket. Sherelle Price gets in on the action. And then it's Troy Swain for three. The Bronx go up by as many as 44 en route to a 72 to 31 win. Goff led the Bronx in scoring for the fourth time in five games with 14 points, three rebounds, three assists, two blocks, and two steals. Big game for Preston. First career double-double with 10 points and a career-high 10 rebounds, seven of which were offensive. I just kind of let the game come to me. You know, I felt great, like, in warm-ups, so I was just like, oh, okay, this is my night, so. Fifth game in seven days. We're a little bit tired, but our defense won the ball game for us. Uh, couldn't be more proud of, proud of a, a group of girls of defensively playing hard and that's what we got to have because what we're doing now is what we do when we go into conference Thursday Saturday games we're, we're trying to train ourselves mentally for those Bronx closing out the homestand against Eastern Michigan early on Bronx down 9-4 but on the comeback trail Hilder Bjorg Karchin's daughter buries the three and then it's Tanisha Walker 10-9 Bronx next time down the court Brittany Bush with the board 
and the bucket, it's 12 to nine Bronx. Move ahead, the lead is five, make it eight. Shante got for three, 21 to 13 Bronx. Eight minutes left in the half, it's Bush in the paint. The Bronx take their largest lead of the game, it's 31-22. Move ahead to the second half, around the midway point. The Bronx have been trailing all half, not anymore. Goff puts the Bronx up 61-60. Now it's 63-61 when Karchin's daughter goes off. Hits the layup and gets fouled. Hits the free throw too for the three point play. Now it's a one point game when Karchin's daughter pulls up for three and nails it. Bronx up 65-64. Two point game again. Make it a four point game. Another layup for Karchin's daughter. And then Karchin's daughter finds space on the perimeter and connects. Karchin's daughter had 11 points during a 22 to eight run. The Bronx sweep the homestand, winning 81. 75. Well, Hilder is a really good player. That's why we signed her, and I've been waiting for her to do that. She's been going back and forth. The game here is a lot more physical than what it is in, her, in their Iceland leagues, and so she's getting used to the physicality, but she's a great shooter. She's a competitor. we got to fine-tune her a little bit more, but she's going to be a nice player for us. But I, I tell you, the effort we got from everybody tonight, whether they play two minutes or 32 minutes, I was very pleased because we play hard. Karchin Sauter finished with a career-high 16 points. Goff led the way with a career-high 26 points, season-high eight rebounds, and a season-high five assists. Walker hit four threes for 13 points, while Teandria Nolan scored 10 with a career-high nine rebounds. It feels great, especially it feels real good to win in front of our fans on our home floor. And uh, it, was, it was a tough fight. It was a tough fight from tip from uh, jump ball and we just hung in there. We got down, we, we didn't hang our head, we kept fighting and it was, it was a great win. Here's a look at the WAC non-conference standings. The Bronx leading the way with a four and two record. The Bronx continue their busy schedule on Wednesday at one of the top teams in the nation, Texas. That, this is uh, very exciting. We got, we definitely have a momentum. Texas is gonna be a b big game for us. They beat Stanford. And so, I mean, we, we know that they're good and we're good too and we're gonna come to play. We're not gonna back down from anybody. Playing at Texas, playing in uh, the historic uh, Irwin Center is just unbelievable, and it's going to be a it's going to be a great experience for our kids. I hope we go up here and play hard and just cut loose and play, and I think we will. Basketball just underway, but we're less than 80 days from the start of baseball season. Coming up on Bronx Country, we preview the 2015 Bronx baseball schedule. It's that time of the year again. The days get shorter and we flock to our indoor sports, which can mean only one thing. Baseball season is right around the corner. The UTPA baseball team unveiled its 2015 schedule this week. The Bronx opened the season at a tournament at Jackson State on February 13th, before coming home for the Al Ogletree Classic February 20th through the 22nd. In total, the Bronx played 54 games and 10 of the first 23 are against teams that reached the 2014 NCAA Tournament, including three against College World Series participants Texas and TCU. The Bronx also played Jackson State, Texas A&M, and defending WAC champion Sacramento State. It makes you better, obviously. You want to play the, the better teams, the best teams that you can. Uh, the competition obviously helps uh, to make us a better team, uh, but it's also when you're able to play those schools, it also helps in recruiting, letting the recruits know that if they come to uh, to school here, they're going to be playing some of the top uh, baseball teams in the country. Um, so it, uh, it works both ways as far as recruiting and also makes our players and our program a better, better players and a better team. The Bronx play 24 home games, half of which are WAC games, with Seattle, Chicago State, Northern Colorado, and Utah Valley coming to town, which also means a number of difficult road trips as part of season two in the WAC. The WAC has got a lot of uh, very good uh, competitive teams. Uh, they've got some great coaches in the conference, some very good players. Um, and again, as last year, I think uh, there's a handful of teams that can probably uh, win the, uh, the regular season, just depending on how you perform on the weekends. Um, and one of the biggest things for us this year is going to be we have to, uh, we have to play well um, at home. We have to make sure that uh, when we're at home and WAC uh, weekends, we're able to uh, to win the series because it's very tough going on the road and being able to uh, to win series after series on the road. 
So uh, definitely going to be an exciting year. Um, some quality teams, quality coaches, quality players, and we look forward to it. On to volleyball. Sixth seeded Bronx facing host and third seeded Bakersfield in the WAC tournament quarterfinals. Pick it up in the second set. Bronx down 0-1 in the match and the set, but De'Ara Reynolds comes up with the kill. And then, after a Watson ace, it's more Reynolds. Bronx up 3-1. A little later on, Bronx down 7-11, but Reynolds gets the Bronx to serve back. And then it's Watson, not once, but twice. One point later, set tied, and Reynolds unties it. Bronx go up 12-11 before the Roadrunners come back to take the set. On to the third. How about a little more Watson? Makes it three to two Bronx. Now, how often do you see a player give her team the lead with a kill and then immediately serve up an ace? Fine, but how about two aces? The Bronx went up as much as seven three. Move ahead, Bronx down one when Watson serves up another ace to tie it at 14. Later, the Bronx were tied at 18. But the Roadrunners score the next seven points to complete the sweep. Watson led the Bronx with nine kills and four aces. Reynolds finished with six kills, while Haley Durham had five. And Janae Chanda had three, and Kira Hill had one. Do you want to help our student athletes prepare for excellence in life? Then join the Bronx Athletic Fund today. You can become a member of the BAF for just $50 a year. All of the proceeds go directly to student athlete scholarships. So visit BronxAthleticFund.com today to see how you can make a meaningful impact on the lives of student athletes. We pursue excellence in the classroom and strive to achieve our potential. We compete on the field with integrity, on the court with respect, and in the pool with distinction. We are strong leaders in our community and gain values from our biggest fans. We continue the legacy of commitment to our universities, to our coaches, to our teammates, and most importantly to you. We learn, we compete, we inspire. We are the Western Athletic Conference. Ball on the right wing, goes for the tie, and he does it again! Nolan straight to the hoop, ties the game! Oh, with three, with two, the desperation he goes in! Jack Bowler from half-court! Bronx win! Bronx win! Get your Bronx basketball season tickets now by calling 665-2221 or logging on to utpabronx.com. This commercial is brought to you by Lax Furniture, an official sponsor of the University of Texas Pan American Intercollegiate Athletics. Here's what's coming up for the Bronx. Both basketball teams with tough tests against ranked opponents as the women visit Texas and Baylor while hosting Houston Baptist and Texas Lutheran in between. And the men take part in a tournament in Utah that also includes Alabama State and North Dakota. We want to thank you for stamping your passport in Bronx country this week. Schedule another visit for next week. But until then, Go Bronx! Go! excellence in the classroom and strive to achieve our potential. We compete on the field with integrity, on the court with respect, and in the pool with distinction. 
We are strong leaders in our community and gain values from our biggest fans. We continue the legacy of commitment to our universities, to our coaches, to our teammates, and most importantly to you. We learn, we compete, we inspire. We are the Western Athletic Conference. The ball on the right wing goes for the tie. And he does it again! Nolan straight to the hoop. Ties the game! All with the three, with two, the desperation he goes in! Jack Bowler from Airport! Bronx win! Bronx win! Get your Bronx basketball season tickets now by calling 665-2221 or logging on to utpabronx.com. This commercial is brought to you by Lax Furniture, an official sponsor of the University of Texas Pan American Intercollegiate Athletics.